Hi, it's Dave Hompez from hpylorisymptoms.com and in this video we are going to talk about whether H. pylori can come back again once you have eradicated it. And the short answer to that question is yes, it can. Now, there's a very special reason why I know for a fact it can and that's because I actually had it twice myself. I picked it up through food poisoning in 2004 and then I identified that I actually had it, well, three years later in 2007, and I actually had it again in 2009. Now, the first time I picked it up, as I say, it was from food poisoning. The second time I picked it up was actually from, I believe, uh, contracting it or acquiring it from my girlfriend at the time, who also tested positive for it. Now, when you eradicate H. pylori, if other family members still carry the bacterium in their digestive system, you may find that they inadvertently reinfect you. Now, they're not going out of their way to try to reinfect you, of course, but if you're sharing eating and drinking utensils with them, if you're having intimate contact with your partner or spouse, or if you have pet cats and dogs who might be carrying the infection as well, you might find that all of a sudden, two months, six months, even a year or more further down the line, you begin to develop the same symptoms again, and lo and behold, you get a test and H. pylori comes back. Now, most medical doctors I've spoken with don't actually know this. They don't realize that you can get H. pylori twice, and there's a little bit of confusion around it. So I just want to allay that confusion and just put it to bed. The body does not develop resistance to H. pylori. By having it once, your immune system doesn't build up immunity to picking it up again. That's a myth and it's a fallacy. And so I want to make sure that you understand that. In my opinion, when you have H. pylori and you're living in a household with partner, spouse, children, pets, etc., all the people in the household should really be tested for H. pylori. They may not have symptoms, but it's still worth getting tested to make sure that there's no chance of being reinfected once you've done all your hard work to get rid of your infection. Because there's nothing worse than spending a whole bunch of time uh, putting the effort in, the energy, and possibly even a whole bunch of money on herbs and nutrients to knock out the H. pylori if you're not using the medical treatments, only to find that a couple of months later, oh, all the symptoms have come back again. So my recommendation is to look at the family dynamics, see who has symptoms potentially that may be H. pylori, and definitely get them tested. If you can stretch to the people who don't have symptoms as well, I think that's going to be really beneficial for you. There's a load more information at my website, which is hpylorisymptoms.com, on how to get retested, when to get retested, and if your doctor will not run tests for your family members, we can also help out with that as well. My name is Dave Hompez. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it's been valuable and helpful, and I look forward to speaking with you again next time. Thanks very much.